welcome back to the channel folks today we're just gonna oil change do a little service on it not sure when it was last serviced put it up on the ramps ready right. take the uh, sump plug off uh, well sump guard get the sump plug it's on 95,000 miles so who knows when it was last serviced in the book it's got 47 and a half so I've already been underneath there's a few bits and bobs and uh, screws missing so uh, I won't go through it all because there's plenty of videos on uh, YouTube how to take the sump guard off how to do this how to do that so I'm not a mechanic so it's just going to basically be an oil change and and uh, filters not sure if the uh, breather case has been changed, updated, so uh, we're going to have a look at that as well. And also, how hard is it to get to the thermostat? Once I've got the bottom off, I can have a look. Right, I will uh, give you updates and that, and see what we can find. Right, that's got the sump guard off, and a uh, few. Uh, couple of these missing the bolts up there were missing but the ones down here were holding it all on a little bit oily a little bit dirty but what i'm gonna do is clean it all up and if there is any oil leaks and at least then i can see where they're coming from as you can see i'm suspecting someone's changed the oil but didn't put a new new washer on that's leaking from there well, apart from that everything pretty clean underneath so i will take off the ramps and move on to uh, stage two dropping the oil but first off i'm going to engine flush it and run it up up to 15 minutes let it work it all like I said, I don't know when it was last service, so uh, yes, let's, let's do that and see what happens. I'll uh, come back to you in the next bit. Bye. As you can see, the uh, temperature, temperature gauge is about where it is. That's an open, stuck open thermostat which I think will be for another video later on anyway carrying on with the service it's engine flush time what I'm using is this stuff it says on the instructions run the engine up to temperature which I think we're nearly there pour it in and run it for another 15 minutes so uh, yes we'll, uh, we'll, we'll do that we'll, we'll turn her off and uh, pour, pour get this jollop in and see what happens. Right. Let's, uh, let's go and do that. Should have got myself a funnel, I think. But there we are, we're all in. <laughs> Wipe that off in a minute. Put the lid on. And that's what I'm using. Right. Alright, cleaned up my little spillage. Back in car, and it says run for 15 minutes fast, so idle. So. I think it's time for a cup of tea. I will be back in a minute. After 15 minutes, of course. Right, that's 15 minutes done. We're up to, uh, as you can see, working temperature. Not quite where it should be, thermostat. Anyway, it's onwards and outwards.
Right, loosened off the uh, oh something that 15 mil. Right, so hopefully it's hand tight, which it is. And we'll see if we can get this off without losing it in the oil, which I usually do. Nearly right, there. It's going to be on. It's going to be on. Let's see what happens. This one where. I'll leave this draining until I've changed all the other filters now. There we go. Oh, not too bad. Not bad at all, actually. So now, I'll let that drain for a couple of hours. And uh, we'll go up top and loosen off. Due to the fact that there's quite a few videos online, especially on YouTube, showing you how to remove all of this and all of this, I'm not going to film it. Now, down there is the oil filter. I've released this just to help drain and drain. Underneath this one is the oil crankcase breather. Some gouges don't even bother with it. If, I'm not sure if this one's been changed, but I've got one anyway, just in case it, it's the old way with a filter in there, which gets clogged up. Then you'll have problems, you know, with the engine breathing and that. So I'm going to take that off, this off, this air box off, in that manifolds, right the way down so I can get in there, nice easy clean street, and also to get the oil filter out. So there's the... Uh, What's it? MAG thing, whatever it's called, I forgot. I'm going to take that off, clean that out. I know a lot of people delete them, but I'm going to keep it going. Yes, there's do's and don'ts about blanking them. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to strip all of this off and I will be with you when all of this is vanished. Right, that's all the uh, plastic stuff off. You can see that's there. Some hoses there. Oil crankcase breather. Which I've loosened these off, loosened the bolts off. That so it should slide out. Over there, I'll put the uh, turbo hose for now. That's got to be changed. And uh, clearance now to get down there and all over. I'm just going to take this out. I, don't wanna, I might need both hands, so uh, I will I will come back to you on that. There's the air filter. That's the old one. Looking pretty, uh, pretty used, but I've got a nice new one for that. So uh, I'll come back. I'll take this out and come back to you and see what, see what we got. Whether it's a filter in there or someone's actually uh, done the upgrade. Hopefully it's a filter. So I can do the off See you in a minute. Well, I've got the uh, crankcase separator out. You see it's a filter. And we're going to do away with that. So you see it's not too bad. I've seen worse on uh, YouTube. So uh, I'll go and get it. Then we'll go and have a look at it. Right, so that bit there pulls out. There we go. That there. And that comes out like that. See with an old O ring in there, look at that. Wasn't even fitted properly. Anyway, so uh, we will put that in the bin. I'll give that all the wipe out. Get all the bed uh, clean. That's what it should look like, a new one, but we're not going for that, we're going for this. Clean that and the seals still, so I've got spare seals there now, and that will fit in there, I think. Or would it go that way? So that will fit in there. So what I'll do, I'll change the seals, I'll show you that, 
then we'll have a go at fitting this. So that's the, uh, the uprated doorway, and you never have to touch it again. You never have to change one of them. That sounds good to me. One less job. Right, back in a minute. Right, put the new O ring in. Do all the clean up, bit of oil on that. Right. This part here, which holds the filter in, does not seem to be wanted anymore. So I'm going to keep that just in case. I've put the new. I'll sit round in there. All round and underneath there. I'll put this in, fix it lovely. Put that in there. That's a new gasket going round. New gasket, that's the word I was after. New gasket going round in there. Cleaned it all. And now we're gonna go for that from there. So when you come back to me, I should have it on. Right, we're all back together, nice and easy. Now, I didn't have to take that out of the way, it just went behind it, that's all for the back, and we'll clip them back. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how that gets on this upgrade. I'm going to put it in the service book so I know when I've done it. And if you do, anybody else knows it's been done. So now, we're going to go on to this. Take this out. Oh, yes, that's a. Uh, a little dirty, so we'll uh, file that down there. Oh, oh dear, I think I might get the hoover out. Right, and also we're going to slide that off, put a new one on, and that's that bit done. Then we'll start putting that back all together, get the oil, and we're done at this end. Put it all back together. Start it all up, and then we have one of them. Right, so uh, I'll come back to you once I've uh, got all these leaves and stuff out. And we'll uh, fit that and fit that. Right, so, right, we're all cleaned out in there, looking good. There's that for the turbo hose. We place that, it just looks like a normal uh, fuel one in there. And here's the new uh, yeah, I think. Uh, that down there. Okay. Like that. Oh! We'll make them make this easy. that bit better and I'll come back to you in a minute. Right, we've got all that back together. What I've done, I've put that clip back on this pipe here. I'm not really sure what that is. Got one here. Put the pipe back and this cable tied it just up here out of the way. Be nice and dry there. Don't come to any arm. Got all this back, the air box was a bit of a battered a bit back. 
some reason, but it goes back to that back on. Alright, checking the fluids there, we're okay, and I've checked that, that's okay. So I'm going to look, it's a matter of interest, if you want to put a firmer stack in here, easier to take this bit off. Then you can get into the uh, clipboard down there, or if you want to do the other one. We need the uh, original thermostat, it's just down, down there, I don't know if you can see it, just down there. And I've been wondering whether that will come off without doing all the engine mounts. Because it seems like the engine mounts just have to come off and, and balance the engine on the jack if you're doing the water pump. But I just don't want to go there, I just want to do the thermostat. So I will make my mind up whether to change that one or use a Renault 5 firm set and put one in there comments below what does everyone think right now I'm gonna do that so I will come back to you in a minute once I've undone it see you in a minute right before I do the uh, oil filter I've given I've had an hour's break at dinner that so I think it's had enough drippy drippy time it's had about two hours so just dripping and it's it's just hardly anything left in there the oil itself looks good I've seen worse especially on my Volvo when I first gave that service so yes let's do this right we've got this something out here the old washer and they've given me this one oh god there it is exactly the same but i think the oil leak was actually from this it didn't seem to be done up too tight so uh let's put put this new one on if i'll set you up here somewhere i'll try and hold it Alright, let's get that cloth. There it is. Clean that one. I'll clean all this sump off later. Alright, one of them. We'll put it in there. So that will go on to it. Hopefully you can seal it up nice. There, there we go. Right. Put that out of the way. We've got a 15mm bit. <laughs> Just put it there for a bit. Over tight, just right there. Right, just that bit there. Oh, yeah, just put that there. Oh, yes, yes. That's not bad at all. Pretty new. Always best to have a bit of cardboard around. I'm going to keep that as a reference. Put that there. Right. Right, put that there. Sort of put the old tray just underneath, catch anything. So, I'll try to set it up there. There we go. Got one of them. A long bar. And I might we'll put some gloves on. Uh, there we 
Okay. We've got some going on. Oh, I can tell I watched too much hub nut. There's my gloves. Hub nut is not alone. There's more of us. Alright. Take that off of there. And we'll try and do that. Everything's in the way, put that out over there. Sensor. Oh. There we go, here she comes. Right. Oh. Alright, there's, there's the top bit. A mucky process. Okay, I've got some rags there. At least we can give it an oily clean. There it is. Right, right there, I'll uh, get the new one. And uh, I'll get this fitted on and we'll have a look. Put the new filter on, new O ring in there, give it a bit of a clean up, and we'll put it back in there. Alright, here we go. Back round all there. Oh. There we go. Alright, stand that. Hand tighten that. And tight, then we're just going to nip it up with this. Not too tight, probably quarter of a turn, just like that. Right, so now I'll put the air box back on, put it all together, then we'll put some oil in it. I'll uh, come back to you when I've done that. Thank you very much. According to the manual, we've got 6.8 litres to go in to filter. So what I've done, I've got 10 watt 40. I know some say 530 and that, but I've got this one. So what I do, I'm going to pour it in and uh, I will come back to you when I've done 6.8 litres of oil. Then we'll start and see what happens. Right, see you in a minute. All right, that's, that's 6.8 litres of oil put in there. A little bit of a spillage, but that's part of it. And that, uh, everything is in tight, everything's put back together. So, let's start, let's see what happens. Right, oh. right. got all the lights on. pushes out straight away. That's good. So, all I've got to do now is a pollen filter, which is down under there, which I will film in a minute. Right, but yeah, I'm not a mechanic, but it proves that these Freelander ones are quite easy to work on. So, uh, if you got one, don't be scared of it. Just go for it. So I've done the back window switch. Right. We're taking this to France in a couple of months. So uh, 
there. I'll come back to you. It's like the uh, bomb shell. Yeah, it's just one of those three. Give me a minute. Welcome back again. So I've turned the engine off, just going to let the oil settle and I can uh, see where it is on the dipstick. But now we have the island filter, which is located in the passenger, well, in the Hayes manual, it says Allen keys, but these turned out to be little nuts, which are quarter. I used to quarter a bit and managed to help them out. But whoever service this car worked on it must have been very good at losing little nuts and bolts because as I've gone round I found lots of nuts and bolts are missing but anyway I've released it and there it is oh, 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 oh. I don't think this has been done for a little while there we go and we're out there it is so Get the new one out. There it is. Comes completely the bottom bit. Hopefully, we're not going to break it like someone's done putting the new one in. So I'll just put you there. Hopefully, you can see it. Focus. I'm going to put it in airflow. Just goes that way. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Comes in through there, out there, so it goes that way. Right, so what we need to do is move that. A little bit awkward. Right, once we're in there. There we go. We'll bend it round, move a little. Yes, really not the best of designs. That is the side, isn't it? Oh dear. And we're in. Cool. That's it. Stick the f meant to be four of these. Uh, I've only got two, so uh, that's that bit done. Right. There it is. As I say, a bit tight to put in. Now I know why it's bendable. Right, back to you in a bit. Another job job. Right, we've had it set in for a little while now, so uh, we're going to have a look at this. Hopefully you can see it. Up here, all I've got to do is uh, put the sump guard back on, and I'll uh, do the fuel pump in another video. As uh, running out of time today, but yeah, she's running very sweetly. I think doing this cat craze breather has actually stopped the smoke on the startup, or well, seems to have. I'll keep the eye on that. So, uh, yeah, job for good. See you on the next video. Remember, like and subscribe. Bye.